Hello everyone. Neuron Techniques for 5G Ultra Dense Mobile Networks, which represented my 5G project founded by Mercury Institute and their Horizon 2020 projects, is investigating a new solution and architecture in order to enable the 5G and beyond. So as we know, the high KPI and uh, requirement of the 5G in order to meet its KPIs, such as high peak data rate, energy efficiency, spectral efficiency, connectivity, reliability, low latency, uh, so it needs a new architecture. One of the fields that uh, Shima 5G project is investigating is cellless architecture as a 5G and beyond new solution. In or as far as we know that the cellular uh, and traditional actually uh, solutions such as cellular architecture cannot meet the requirements of the 5G such as its high peak data rate. So we need to know and investigate how to make a cellless architecture as a new solution in order to meet these requirements. So we found it necessary to share with you some uh, content around the cellular to cellular SOTA and the rental joint controller as an enabler of the cellless architecture. And we will share with you one use case and then we'll have a um, high layer uh, overview and a conclusion that why we need the cellless architecture and how we can make it enable in order to meet the KPI of the 5G and beyond. So let's see. We know the cellular have some um, actually problems such as the network coverage, load balancing, handover interference, and uh, in terms of, for example, handover across different tires and interconnectivity issue, as well as the frequent handover for fast moving users, or maybe an interference issue, which will limit the performance of the user and the network and will uh, degradate the uh, for example, the KPIs based on the interference limitation, as well as improving the SINR, which will uh, cause the load balancing issue for a smaller size of the cells. So in order to move from cellular to cellless, we need to uh, take support from some different techniques, such as cooperation coordination, which can be supported and managed by a central controller, such as RAN controller, a scheduler, of course, in order to apply efficient resource management in a centralized, virtualized, and software uh, manner. So it will result in no cell boundary interference will be managed and the communication will be converged, as well as different services such as cursory, multi rats and IoT can be added on top of it. But still, we can have some more optimization approach, such as different implementation of virtualization, AML powering, slicing multi rant and mm, etc. So um, already some researchers propose different solutions in order to move from cellular and solving its problems, such as in, in 2015, Artemis proposed a PCL solution, a PCL user-centric solution, which will reach to high spectral efficiency, consistent data rate, no interference, uh, interstellar interference, and no hand of overhead. As we can see in the top figure, uh, with the cellular user data rate, we can see that the cell edge users will suffer from low data rate because of the interstellar interference, but through the PCL user-centric solution, the user's whole over coverage will have the same data rate and um, we cannot see any more uh, actually inter interference, uh, which will reduce the performance of the network and the user. And also after what the more advanced level of the, for example, PCL implementation were self-free massive MIMO, which were proposed, uh, and uh, in that uh, research and proposal, they will show, uh, they were showing the, moving from the traditional cellular in which that the user each will connect to one cell and afterward the proposal of the network centric conjoint uh, transmission in which that the access point and cluster cooperate to serve the users residing in their joint coverage area but also not only the network centric was proposed after some uh, times the user centric conjoint transmission also were proposed in which that each will communicate with this closest access point but this time the clusters can have some overlap and at the end, the, they propose the cellless massive MIMO that a central processing unit will support a number of access points to cooperate to join the server UE uh, in order to implement a user sending network through a cell free massive MIMO architecture. But still, there were some open issues and challenges. So, although some part of the processing were, do, were done in the distributed manner, but still, some part of the processing um, were required to be done at the cent at one or multiple central processing unit. And this distributed signal processing was considered as an open challenge: how to make a, a signal, how to deal with this signaling overhead and CSI exchanging, and also the resource allocation for massive number of antenna. 
and broadcasting require a new protocol. Um, as we know, it, uh, it is um, clear that the cellular format of the protocols cannot support this type of paging, broadcasting, resource allocation for massive MIMO in a software architecture. But is the interference issue solved? Yes, of course it's solved. And uh, in team of 5G, we are thinking that do we need to still massive MIMO? But we are proposing as far as cell free is removing the cellless architecture is removing the cell boundaries and the user can have access to the whole, uh, actually uh, pull off the resources and uh, the resources will be scheduled for the user in order to support the user and uh, give it the best uh, experience. We don't need a massive number of antennas because there is no any cell boundary anymore and the user can have access to the whole pull off the resources and the resources aggressively can be reused. So the cellless architecture by itself, by its terminology can support to manage the interference and take it as a useful signal. And that's it, that would be enough and perfect for us. So thanks to RAN controller, RAN intelligent controller, product of IS wireless, the partner, one of the partner of the team of IFG, uh, we propose to use the RAN intelligent controller as an enabler of the cellless architecture. So as you can see, the RAN controller is following the uh, ORAN specification and, some, and standards. And then regarding to the uh, softwareization and actually virtualization and its centralization, it is too much cost efficient, easy to implement and based on the new architecture of the ORAN. So as you can see, RAN controller is sitting on top of the RAN and by having the different different accepts, not only it can enable the cellless architecture and support the RAN by proper scheduling, efficient scheduling, but also by different accepts such as uh, mobility management, XAP, QS management, interference management, and also radio connection management and others as well. It can add more and more service to uh, give the better performance and experience to the user and network actually. So as we can see, this RAN intelligent controller, which is performing in SCN like management of mobile network infrastructure such as RAN and core, but also in by efficiency utilization of different radio technologies such as multi radio slicing, it can enable the cellless very well. So thanks to this central processing uh, actually controller, we don't need to think about uh, different different open challenges of previous proposals as far as we know. And as uh, far as it's represent the centralized and softwise actually STM like management uh, format. So let us check a uh, use case. As you can see, for such an indoor network use case, by having and controlling to a RAN controller centralized, uh, which will support a scheduler for cellless architecture in order to manage the interference. Uh, so for going from cellular part to cellular, the different techniques of the centralization, virtualization can be supported by a RAN controller as a central controller and the uh, user-centric network centric will be defined based on the topology of the network and the requirement of the network, of course. And um, in a proper way, in a cooperative manner, it will manage the interference and make efficient resource scheduling. So for indoor scenario, we can see, of course, there are some interference from other users and access points, but still you know, we have the proper and useful signal. But with a cellular uh, scheduler, we can manage the interference and use interference as a useful signal in order to take benefits from it and not only reduce, face the reducing of the performance of the user, but also we can have the improvement of the user network uh, experience. So meeting different target KPIs based on the requirement in different kind of conditions such as us, and it will based on the it will be based on the um, actually use case. For example, for such a EPB use case, the throughput can be a perfect reflecting KPI, or maybe for ULLC use cases, the entry type can be better uh, option. But we can see that uh, by actually making a critical uh, core uh, focus on managing the interference to a proper, proper resource scheduling algorithm by central scheduler such as uh, which we can support by rent engine controller, we will be able to adjust to 
in door sending your adult five target director at the traffic load variety and at the end remove the cell boundaries beside reaching the target KPI. For example, for this use case, as an EMBB use case, uh, use case, we can have the target capacity as a target KPI as object defined. But as a high level uh, conclusion and overview, we can see that the cellless radio access network architecture defined as a combination of centralized RAN and cooperative radio resource management. So in order to overcome the interference for uh, actually improving the user and network um, experience, we can approach this goal by charging, by changing the radio resource allocation paradigm from competitive cellular, but to cooperative uh, cellless, combined with the centralized centralization of RAN. So algorithms will be designed to manage the radio resource under this perspective. And uh, as a, uh, we as a ice wireless have uh, had a presentation on Globcom 2020 regarding to the proposal for enabling the cellless architecture, of course, taking support uh, from our uh, RAN intelligent controller. So the action list uh, in order to have a cellless architecture and cellless scheduler is required to clarify network centric and user centric actually topology by taking the uh, proper um, actually termination of the coordination and cooperation in which we will use a dynamic uh, scheduling in order to have a serving zone proper serving zone based on the requirement and we will make it adjusted to the architecture so the algorithm targets uh, will be uh, making a decision for serving zone performing that it will be in which side by taking benefits and coordination of the RAN intelligent controller. So also the work area will be uh, by a centralization of a controller in order to make a central uh, cellless scheduling uh, for optimize by optimization on the concentration over different resources, actually critical resources such as frequency, time, space, and power. Also the site uh, problems such as warming rad or different topologies such as, such as headnet may be the interest of uh, some areas. So stay with us to see the coming proposal and solution that we are proposing regarding to enable the cellless architecture. This is Tarina Skushki, the team of 5G researcher hosted by IS Wireless, and the contact info is uh, f.kushki at iswireless.com. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact me in case of any question or suggestion, uh, and thank you everyone.